look. So uh, here is my machine. I'm all hooked up now. Michael Strahan's daughter, Isabella, has hit a major milestone in her cancer treatment. On March 26th, the 19-year-old took to her YouTube vlog to share that she was finishing up her second round of chemotherapy. Isabella celebrated the moment alongside her mom and showed off the drawing she's been doing to pass the time while going through treatment. Hey vlog, so last day of chemo, I'm pretty sure my chemo is done. Now I have the fluids. My cord thing kind of is purple up here, but it's mom. Gonna make some salad and stay hydrated. And also I decorated the window glass of my, my room. And I'll show you guys what it looks like too. Okay, so this is my recap of what I did in the hospital, second round of chemo, because I didn't want to be bored, and I was less bored than that. Like, it was just su a, such a better experience. Do my signature cowboys? This, this isn't going to, like, put words in, but I didn't do that. And then, my next one, I did these all. This was for my grandma who came to visit me, but I feel it's a good tour, so I'll get a tour soon. Here's, um, this is kind of random, but I just like the colors. Then, we have my <laughs> and some more flowers. And that's my, my look. I was gonna obviously, I think, for something else, but probably more flowers. It's the only thing I can draw. And, uh, yeah, so we're about to make taco salad. Very pink now. Pink. Isabella also opened up for the first time about someone who she has been leaning on for emotional support during this difficult time, as he is also going through cancer in college as well. Here's everyone in their pray for Greg sweatshirts. I want to tell you the story behind Craig Brooks. So in my like a GMA interview, I mentioned if you can go back and like see, I'm like, I reached out to one person, the only person I can find, but they never reach back. It's difficult because when I was trying to see other people who have been affected, it's, I think it's like five in a million. So it's not very common. Um, and one person I found, I reached out, but. Take your time. Okay. I was referencing Greg. Um, he is a um, he was a football player at LSU, and he thought he had vertigo, just like me. So I thought our stories were so similar. And then he discovered it was um, not vertigo, and we're on like the same kind of treatment schedules. It was crazy because I was like so inspired. I am so inspired by him. And his, I was just randomly, all my messages get sent to my, like, hidden requests. So I was in the Bahamas with my little, like, my break time between radiation and chemo. And I like, decided to just look at, like, five, five names. And it was, one of them was Greg's grandmother, who had reached out to me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy, because I reached out to him. And who he, he hasn't been on his phone. But, I don't know, we keep in touch, like, every day. And you go check Greg's story out. He's really inspiring. And he's the one that, like, I I keep very close to touch with him. And I can't wait to meet him in person one day. But we all got our, the sweatshirts are all Pray for Greg books. Everyone go get one. <laughs> Everyone go buy. Because he's the sweetest. And I just love love the family and him so, so much. And they've helped me. Shout out Mama Brooks. Because she's the one who reached out. Um, and it really made me heart, and she checks up on me, this is his grandmother, she checks up on me every day, and which is really sweet people, so, where, um, he just finished his second, so I just finished my second cycle of chemo, he finished his second cycle, we were honestly like two days apart between like, our, when we would like go in and get chemo, um, but then my, my, my head pushed me back a week so now he has to go a little before me but we're making through it together isabella was diagnosed with a type of brain cancer called medulloblastoma in october that month she had to undergo an emergency surgery to remove a medulloblastoma 
in her cerebellum. Since her diagnosis, the University of Southern California student has been documenting her health journey on YouTube. Last month, Isabella shared in her vlog how she was smiling through the pain of getting the chemo port placed in her chest. So I am walking. Here's my mom and Kayla. I'm getting my port placed today, which is a device that goes on, on your chest, or I don't know where we get it placed yet, but. And it's for like administering chemo, getting my blood drawn, all that fun stuff. It's not excited. <laughs> Let you know when it's done. Going under anesthesia soon. Before surgery, though, she candidly revealed how it was tough for the nurses to find a vein in her arm to place an IV. And the college student made it clear she is not a fan of needles. You know, kind of tissue planes and muscles and things, and if you go all the way up here, a little bit brighter. This one here is a vein, but this one I think is an artery. So if we push down, the vein collapses and the artery bounces. So that's how you can tell them apart. This is a smaller artery over here. So, you know, all kinds of fun things you can see here. I'll let you know before I stick. Can I just look at yes. one more time? You should not have here. looked at it. Oh, oh good. 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 All right, here we go. One, two, three, little poke. Oh. So, no more needles. All the needles yep. are out of you. Cook is out. Everything left is just pieces of tape. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a large one. Well, that's why it's yeah, and you did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this whole big thick thing is is for safety. Once the needle's out, you push this button, the needle all goes in here, and then you can't poke yourself in it. Yeah. And back in January, Michael and Isabel spoke to Good Morning America's Robin Roberts, and they revealed through tears how their family is getting through the tough time. I literally think that in a lot of ways I'm, I'm the luckiest man in the world because I got an amazing daughter and I know she's going through it but I know that we're never given more than we can handle and that she is gonna crush this. When you get through this next chapter of your journey what lies ahead for you Isabella? I'm sorry. I'm not Looking forward to getting back to college and moving back to California and just starting my school experience over. Not over, but just restarting getting back into a routine mm -hmm. and something that's enjoyable. Something Sophia said to me, I think, the start of this all, she said, you have to keep living just because this is happening. She's right. And you've been doing it. Yep. I mean, I know this yeah. is tough. But you, you keep on living in the Bella. Mm -hmm. You inspire all of us every single day. We're around you. Mm -hmm. Okay? You. And we love you. We're here for you. And you got this, so. I love you too. I say 60, 70 years, you'll be bugging somebody. I don't know if it'll be me. I, I hope so. it is, but mm -hmm. you'll be here, baby.